Well, this is a variety kid. So in the last video, I talked about why I like the iPhone 11 Pro Max better than the Galaxy Note Plus. And now in this video, I'm going to talk about why I like the Galaxy Note 10 Plus better than the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So first of all, you can get the battery percentage icon. I mean, um, I, I mean, you obviously can on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, but to see the battery percentage icon, you have to swipe down from Control Center and pretty much every time you want to see it, whereas with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, you can see the battery percentage icon pretty much anywhere as um, uh, immediately. Number two is split-screen multitasking and picture in picture. So this allows so split screen multitasking allows you to use two apps at the same time and um I and picture in picture allows you to do stuff like watch YouTube videos while within another app. So um I so this allows you to do more than two things at once. Um I and with split screen you can like um I use two let um I like you know you can use two apps at the same time without having to um I go in between the apps. Um, uh, number three is faster fast charging. So there's a faster fast charger in the box at 18, at 25 watts compared to 18 watts. Um, uh, and there's faster fast charging overall with, compared, at 45 watts compared to, um, I read something that said the iPhone 11 Pro Max is limited to 22 watt charging. It might actually be 30 watts with a future software update. But either way, it is still, but either way, the maximum fast charging is still a good amount faster than on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Number five, or, um, I... Number four is landscape mode. So you can, or, um, uh, so on the home screen, you can use landscape mode, which can help your phone feel more like a mini tablet and stuff. Um, I, and I like that, uh, I, um, and I like the ability to do that, whereas on iPhones, you're just limited, whereas on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, you're just limited to portrait mode on the home screen. Um, I, number five is time of flight camera. So this, so, so on the rear camera, there's a time of flight camera, which is like apparently good for measuring distance is, and um uh and objects and stuff like that and um uh and it also could possibly give better augmented reality. Um I uh, number um I uh, number six is the um uh, is DEX. So this allows you to plug in the Note 10 into a computer and use it as a desktop, which I really like because like um uh, sometimes computers have things that that um uh, that phones can't do. So if so if you want to do something on your phone on the computer, you can just plug the Note 10 Plus into a computer. Um, uh, number seven is a bigger screen and a smaller notch. So as you can see here, um, uh, the Galaxy Note 10 has a bigger screen, and actually it doesn't even have a notch, they call it a cutout. So it has a smaller cutout, much smaller than the iPhone 11 Pro Max's notch, and the, the screen is at 6.8 inches compared to 6.46 inches on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Anyways, no copyright claim was intended, I don't own this picture. Number 8 is 960 frames per second slow-mo video. So you get super slow motion video at 968 frames per second, which compared to 240 frames per second on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, um, uh, allowing for um, uh, like more epic slow motion videos. Um, uh, number nine is, um, uh, is there's a 5G variant. So, um, uh, this one isn't any high, uh, the, um, uh, this one is closer to the bottom because, um, uh, 5G is limited right now, but overall, and the iPhone has, um, a uh, pretty fast LTE, so, um, uh, but however, 5G does seem like a really good feature as it will help you save battery life compared to 4G LTE once it gets better. And, um, uh, and, and it has faster speeds. Um, uh, so when available, it's a really good feature. Um, uh, number 10 is, um, uh, it's faster wireless charging. So you get faster wireless charging, um, uh, here in the U.S. it's 15 watts, while in some other countries it might be 20 watts. I, I don't know. But, um, uh, but however, either way, it's still faster than the iPhone 11 Pro Max's 10 watt wireless charging. Um, uh... Number 11 is more storage for less money. So, um, uh, so for $1,099, you get 256 gigabytes on the Note 10 compared to 64 gigabytes on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And you get, um, I, uh, um, I. Uh, and the 256 gigabyte iPhone 11 Pro Max would cost $1,249, $150 more than the um, uh, 256 gigabyte iPhone 11 Pro Max. In fact, the 5G variant of the, um, I, uh, 
256 gigabyte model is only $50 more than the 4G variant, which there is no 5G like I mentioned, uh, um, uh, than the 4G variant of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Number 12 is curved edges. So as you can see here, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus has a curved display, which in my opinion looks nice. And it also has an edge panel for shortcuts when you swipe on the edge. And I really like this feature. And then again, no copyright claim was intended. I don't own this picture. Mm. Number 13 is quick camera launch. So um, uh, so this allows you to launch, launch the camera app with, um, uh, with a double press on the home button, allowing you to access your camera faster. Whereas on the iPhone, you would have to swipe for a control center to get the camera app. And number 14 is the always-on display. So this is good for, like, um, I... Just a minute, I'm gonna close my door. Mm, this is good for, um, I... If you want to see the time and any missed notifications without having to have without having to turn the screen on, and it can be good because if you don't want other people to pick up your phone, even to see stuff like the time, they'll be able to see it on the always on display and you won't have to worry about it. And there's other things you can see on the always on display like what song is playing if you're listening to music. So yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like if you did and possibly check out the other video about why the iPhone 11 Pro Max is better. It was my um, uh, second most recent video as of this one being posted. Anyways, bye.